Hello and welcome to vlog number 105. I mentioned in vlog number 101 that I made an appointment with Norman Lamb, my Member of Parliament, regarding the refusal of the local healthcare trust to fund the prescription of Exenatide for me. Exenatide is a type 2 diabetes drug that was the subject of a recent clinical trial which showed that this medication arrested the progression of Parkinson's disease. Obviously, with my Parkinson's rapidly progressing, I'm very keen to try it. My doctor, my London neurologist and my Norfolk neurologist all support my request for Exenatide. But my application to the Medical and Drugs Committee was refused on the grounds of insufficient evidence of benefit. So last Friday I attended a meeting with Norman to see what his opinion was and to seek his advice on the way forward. As an addendum to this, I also sought his advice on the prescription of medicinal cannabis which is supported by my Norfolk neurologist but which, I'm advised, will also be rejected by the Medical and Drugs Committee on exactly the same grounds. Norman was previously a healthcare minister in government and so has an in-depth knowledge of how these things work and also maintains an avid interest in healthcare. I wasn't disappointed. I related my story to him and he instantly had a grasp on the situation and the problem that I faced. He agreed with me 100% that this was not an acceptable response from the Trust. In fact, he referred to it as scandalous and there and then dictated a letter, marked very urgent, to the Chief Executive of the Healthcare Trust asking him to resolve the issue speedily without the need for any public campaign and requesting a response within 14 days. He then dictated a letter of complaint, also marked very urgent, to the Chief Officer of the North Norfolk Clinical Commissioning Group Complaint Service, apprising them of the details and asking them to intervene quickly because I am keen to raise the issue publicly because it is such an outrage that I am being denied this medication. I know that the letters were posted out this week so I'm sitting with fingers crossed and hoping that they have the desired effect. I then spoke to Norman about the problems encountered when trying to obtain a prescription for medicinal cannabis. Basically, my neurologist has agreed to support an application to the Medical and Drugs Committee for a medicinal cannabis prescription, but I've already been told by another applicant that all such applications are being rejected with insufficient evidence of benefit given as the reason. Norman told me that this was a common response and agreed with me that there isn't going to be any change while Theresa May remains in government, telling me that she simply doesn't want to consider the evidence. He asked me if I wanted him to add this to his previously dictated letters, but I felt that I didn't want to muddy the waters. Exenatide is by far the most important drug for me to obtain particularly since I'm easily able to obtain cannabis on the black market. He also told me that he has a 10 minute rule bill about medicinal cannabis that will have its first reading in the House of Commons next Tuesday and asked me if I would be happy for him to use my case as an example, to which I was more than happy to agree. I don't suppose for a moment it will be passed, 10 minute rule bills seldom are, but what it will do is keep medicinal cannabis in Parliament's thoughts. It's simply not just going to go away if they ignore it. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions or have a topic that you'd like me to cover in future vlogs, just leave me a message in the comments and I'll do my best to respond. Have a great week. See you next Friday.